Yeah, Kyle, we switch it up a bit this week, and we bring you an even cooler segment titled Got It Covered. Here we'll pick games against the spread based on category and caliber of competition. Now, you may be asking yourself, can I trust these kids? Well, our track record has yet to disappoint. In the show's debut last Friday, we went 4-2-1 on the weekend. Our picks, a Syracuse PAT and a Notre Dame 11th player away from finishing 6-1. Not bad, if we do say so ourselves. So sit back, relax, and get ready for your weekly bout with the books. It's time to show Vegas who's boss. Give me my theme music. Week four brought the heat with some of the most watched college football in recent history, and week five isn't slowing down. We start with our C-tier cautious covers. For our first stop on the trip, we trek out to the Mountain West. Number 25, Fresno State, plays host to winless Nevada. The Bulldogs have cracked the AP Top 25 for the third year in a row, and they come in as 24 and a half point favorites for good reason. The Wolfpack have the third worst scoring defense in the country, and Fresno State quarterback Mikey Keen continues to deal, ranked 13th in the nation in passing. The Bulldogs are averaging 39 points per game and should have no trouble on Saturday night. I'm taking Fresno State to cover a massive spread at home. Book it, baby. Fresno State minus 24 and a half. We head to the SEC for our next cautious cover as Kentucky hosts number 22, Florida. Now this one is interesting with the spread nearly even. The Gators are inconsistent, coming off the heels of an unconvincing win over Charlotte after dominating Tennessee the week prior. Kentucky, on the other hand, is undefeated and have won every game by double digits. The argument is, have they played anybody? The Wildcats' best wins come over Vanderbilt and Akron, but you can't deny good defense. Kentucky gives up just 15 and a half points per game, and Florida ranks 76th in the country offensively. Inspired by a fiery crowd in Lexington, I like the Wildcats to win a close one at home. Book it, baby. Kentucky minus one. Staying in the conference where it just means more, we've got an AP Top 25 matchup as number 13 LSU heads to Oxford to battle number 20 Ole Miss. The Tigers cannot afford a second loss if they want to keep their college football playoff hopes alive, while Lane Kiffin's Rebels look to avoid an 0-2 start to conference play. This is one of those games that, I'm going to be honest, could really go either way, which is represented by a two and a half point spread in favor of LSU. It just feels as though Ole Miss is chomping at the bit after letting Alabama slip away late last week in Tuscaloosa. For that, combined with a bit of a gut feeling, I'm taking the Rebels to win this one outright at home as our underdog of the week. Book it, baby. Ole Miss plus two and a half. Now we move up to our B tier, our balanced bets. Starting off with a marquee ACC clash, Clemson makes the trip to the Dome to take on unbeaten Syracuse. If you've watched this matchup over the years, you know the Orange always give the Tigers fits, especially in the 3-1-5. Six and a half point underdog Syracuse is led offensively by two of the top seven rushers in the ACC with quarterback Garrett Schrader and tailback McQuint Allen. Clemson, however, boasts one of the top rushing defenses in the nation. Still, a spread of nearly a touchdown just doesn't seem sensible to give a Clemson team that has been virtually eliminated from national and maybe even conference championship contention. I'm taking Dino Babers and the mob to cover like they so often do when facing Dabo Sweeney's Tigers. Book it, baby. Syracuse plus six and a half. Let's keep this party rocking in Boulder as Colorado looks to bounce back against number eight USC. The Trojans come in as three touchdown favorites after outlasting Arizona State, while the Buffs remain without sophomore sensation Travis Hunter. USC's offense is littered with an embarrassment of riches led by Heisman incumbent Caleb Williams, but the Buffs got Shadur, and his, he is his daddy's son. Even though Coach Prime's boys got humbled a week ago, USC lacks the physicality in the trenches that allowed Oregon to be so dominant. That, combined with Colorado's offensive playmaking ability, makes it easy to believe that the Buffs can hang around with their top 10 foe. 21 is a number that seems to favor Mr. Sanders. So I'm taking Colorado to cover at home. Book it, baby. Colorado plus 21 and a half. 
We tailgate on to Lincoln, Nebraska as the Cornhuskers welcome the second ranked Michigan Wolverines for a 3.30 kick. It's safe to say that this one shouldn't be close as Michigan comes in as 17 point favorites behind the top ranked scoring defense in the country. Nebraska struggles to put up both points and yards as they bear the burden of being a bottom 10 passing offense in the nation. You know, we thought that Rutgers would keep it close last week and they covered at 24. Michigan looks legit and for that, the Wolverines cover big time on the road. Book it, baby. Michigan minus 17. We move up once again to a pair of elite caliber covers with our A-tier automatic aces. To the desert we go as Arizona hosts 7th ranked Washington in Tucson. The Huskies enter as 19 point favorites and I don't think it's enough. Michael Penix Jr. might be the best player in all of college football, leading the nation in passing and spearheading the third highest scoring offense in the country. In a year where there is no clear king in college football, Washington looks like they can compete for a national championship. I'm taking the Huskies to roll in Tucson, keeping their unblemished record against the spread intact. Oh yeah, book it baby, you dub. Minus 19. Let's keep it rolling with college game day in Durham as number 17 Duke hosts number 11 Notre Dame. Mike Elko's Blue Devils have been one of the pleasant surprises in this sport while the five and a half point favorite Irish strive to get back to their winning ways. Duke is a bit, you know, one dimensional on offense while Notre Dame can hurt you with their veteran quarterback Sam Hartman or the nation's top rusher in Audric Estime. Durham is far from a hostile environment and will likely host many fans of the Irish as well. I like Notre Dame to cover and win by a touchdown on the road. Book it, baby. Notre Dame minus five and a half. Last and most certainly not least, we hit you with our S tier. Super selection of the week. You know, it might not be the biggest game on the slate, but it is certainly our most confident cover. The ACC contending Cardinals of Louisville are on the road in Raleigh to take on the Wolfpack of NC State. As three and a half point favorites, Louisville is nearly unstoppable with the ninth best scoring offense in the country. Not to mention, Jawar Jordan leads the ACC in all purpose yards and touchdowns. I continue to be absolutely baffled by this line and can only make sense of it by factoring in possible severe weather. Regardless, the cards are just too good and this spread is too slim. You heard it here. Louisville will make a down year for NC State even worse on Friday night. Book it, baby. The Ville minus three and a half. Well, we ran through the slate, but wait, there's more. We've got one last bonus bet in store. Let's run this bad boy with a future pick of the week. We just got done talking about how darn good Louisville is, so strike it while the iron's hot. At plus 1,000, the Cardinals have the fifth best odds to win the ACC. And I'm telling you what, we're taking that all day long. Book it, baby. Louisville ACC champs in 2023. Woo, man, that was fun. Let's go ahead and recap. In our C tier, we're taking Fresno State, Kentucky, and Ole Miss to pick up big wins. In our B tier, we like Syracuse, Colorado, and Michigan to cover. In our A tier, we went with Washington and Notre Dame to show out on the road. And of course, our super selection of the week, Louisville to decimate NC State. Toss the cards in as an ACC futures pick and you're good to go. Man, week five should not disappoint. Enjoy the festivities, and we'll see you right back here next week. And hey, when they call, you be sure to tell them we got it covered.